Several Republican governors are announcing new restrictions on TikTok because of security concerns. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFisco is learning Virginia could be next. She's joining us in the Digital Center now with the details. Jackie. Hey guys, well, no announcement or comment from Governor Glenn Youngkin's office so far, but I found out that legislation is in the works in the General Assembly. Today, mounting pressure on the popular social media app, TikTok. At least six GOP governors are taking steps to ban it on state government issued devices. Republican State Senator Ryan McDougal says Virginia should do the same, and he plans to introduce a bill next month to make that happen. The best case scenario would be for the governor to issue an executive order to make it happen immediately. The recent flurry of executive orders in other states citing ongoing national security threats from TikTok, which is owned by a Chinese company. They should not be able to collect secrets from state government or from institutions of higher education doing research. U.S. Senator and Intelligence Committee Chair Mark Warner agrees. I am very concerned about TikTok. Adding in a statement today, quote, TikTok is legally beholden to the Chinese Communist Party. And not only does it collect an alarming amount of information on users, but it could one day be used as a kind of propaganda machine to sway the minds of Americans or spread misinformation. Former President Donald Trump previously tried but failed to ban TikTok from U.S. app stores. Despite concerns, U.S. Senator Tim Kaine still thinks that goes too far. I don't know that we should be banning it for private citizens. I think we need to warn private citizens what the risks are. And Senator Kaine adding that President Biden should go further by banning TikTok from federal government devices. The U.S. military, for example, already says that they don't want their soldiers using this app. TikTok has not responded to my request for comment. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.